So what about this? Right here? Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? The X. Uh right. Okay. Take a step right. No! no, no. The other right. Uh, yeah, I was about My to say other that. Right or your other right. Man, come on. Uh mine. My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Come on, Chloe. Let's go. Keep up. That way. There you go. Perfect. Now come towards me. Perfect. Right there, right there. Right there. Bingo. We actually got it. We actually got it. I want to see what this prize is, this treasure. I wonder what it is. I bet it's a coin or something. I hear a box. What that is it? Is not what we buried. Wait, what? What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. Do we have to? Oh. So. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Okay, so... Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. So, he did that. He must have buried the treasures <laughs> in the barrel. Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary, I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm Slip. sure you're excited nice. to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill bloody proud of you. Aww. Both of you. Aww. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. What?! Ugh. <laughs> Wow, okay. Not bad, not bad. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. So <laughs> what's crap. in it? It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> Aww. Oh, I remember these. The Chloe Ooh. Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw. You were so cute. And thoughtful. <laughs> Still <laughs> is. Ugh. Maxine. Dear Chloe, how are you today? I am doing very well. It is Friday, June 27, 2003. It is summer vacation. We are making a time capsule for you and me in the future. We are making it pirate themed. Wasn't it hilarious to find? These are some things we like. Favorite animal, Arabian horse, Max, of course. Otter, Chloe. Favorite food, lobster roll, Max. Coffee, ice cream, Chloe. Favorite class in school, art or library, Max, science, Chloe. Best friend, each other, both. Aww. How about you? Are you age 12 or more? 
What are your favorite foods, movies, etc.? That's all for now. I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Sincerely, Maxine Crawfield. <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. Dear Maxine, hello from 2003. Here is a record of how we spend our days. Can you guess which one is real? We go to the same school and always sit together at lunch. Duh. We have sleepovers at least once a week. We like extremely salty pretzels. We are in a race to see who can convince our parents to get a pet first. We are going to live together when we can't afford it and use only gold paint. We have battled many foes and never failed to save each other. What did you guess? If you guessed all of them, you are right. Your friend forever, Chloe Elizabeth Price. You were really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like Cut it out. That's because Aww. You're goopy. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. Okay, you do you. Scratch art. I I've had that when I was a little kid. Those were fun. All these memories. I want to look at everything. There is so much things we can actually look at here. Let's start with this one. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. It actually could. I bet you can use that for some time warp type of burial. Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. Maybe you should come down and power of flight this dude's face off of me. Okay. That's funny. These are awesome. Chloe's always been good at making up cool things to do. The chopper. World's most comfortable seat. Switches pedals from wheels to blades and also spins blades. That's actually pretty inventive for an eight-year-old. Flaming fingers. Flint. Steel. Okay. Ray of sunshine. Sunlight enters here. Mirrors and lenses to strengthen the sunlight. Laser beam shoots out here, opens intake window. Huh, ray of sunshine. That's hilarious. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to predict the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. That is so crazy, Max, that you said that because... Well, obviously, if you haven't watched the first series of Life is Strange, I strongly recommend you seeing that. Because some of the things she says, my goodness, it just comes back to her like 180. Okay, so predictions for the future by Chloe and Maxine. One, we still hang out with each other more than with any other person. Two, both of us are medium popular. Mm, that's so funny. Three, both of us are dating our second boyfriend. Boy, you are so wrong with number three. Four, we do not make decisions without consulting each other. The talking skull of our enemies. That is such a foreshadowing. Especially with part one. Five, both of us have a pet. Six, Chloe has visited Antarctica. Max could have come if she wanted Seven, one of us has a little sister or brother. Eight, we are doing well in school. Definitely number eight did not, did not sit well. Ooh. It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Dear Maxine, hello from 2003. Here is a record of how we spend our days. Can you guess which one is real? One, we go to the same school and always sit together at lunch. Duh. Two, we have sleepovers at least once a week. Wow, they really enjoy each other's company. Three, we like extremely salty pretzels. Four, we are in a race to see who can convince your parents to get a pet first. 
Five, we are going to live together when we can afford it and use only gold paint. Six, we have battled many foes and never failed to save each other. Wow, six is such a foreshadowing as well. What did you guess? If you guessed all of them, you are right. Your friend forever, Chloe Elizabeth Is Price. writing once a week too often? Will I run out of things to say? No, you won't, Max. But the thing is, when you do leave, surprise, surprise, you don't write to her at all. Because you're mean. Dear Chloe, how are you today? I am doing very well. It is Friday, June 27, 2003. It is summer vacation. We are making a time capsule for you and me in the future. We are making it pirate-themed. Wasn't it hilarious to find? These are some things we like. Number one, favorite animal. Arabian horse, Max. Otter, Chloe. Number two, favorite food, lobster roll, Max. Coffee, ice cream, Chloe. Good choice. Number three, favorite class in school, art or library, Max. Science, Chloe. Number four, best friend, each other, both. How about you? Are you age 12 or more? What are your favorite foods, movies, etc.? That's all for now. I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Sincerely, Maxine Clawfield. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. It's good to see you, old friend. Max has not changed uh, compared to... There are no mistakes in art. Oh, Chloe, you... I could see the little spunky, rebellious Chloe poking out. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe out-nerds me. Wait, Chloe likes manga? Get out! What enemy does she love to watch? Wow, that's crazy. I really do appreciate Chloe now, because that is so dope. That was a good week. I used every possible excuse to be here for breakfast. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house. Your loving wife. Oh, nice. If that's the case, I'm going to try and get a promotion too so my girlfriend can cook for I me. I always look especially short next to Chloe. That's crazy how this is the same photo we're seeing from part one. But now that I'm looking at it, it definitely gives me a different perspective. This is probably the last thing Chloe's mom wants to see after a shift at the diner. Yeah, let's go. Let's clean this up. Because we're trying to help the mom here. Since Chloe wants to be lazy and not do anything. See, I am such a good guest. I help clean the house. Well, basically, I My practically bed. live there, so... Stop hating, Chloe. Clean your house. How about that? I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. Is that why you decided to go into photography, Max? Me and Daddy. Aww, Chloe's a daddy's girl. How cute. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I guess compared to that, Seattle's not so far. The fact that Chloe still has grandparents, I'm a little bit jealous because... Both of my grandparents from my mom's side passed away, These so... used to make great pirate swords. The umbrellas? You're Goodbye, funny. Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. Speaking of that, when are you going to tell Chloe? Because at this point, it's, it's torturous to just hide it even more. Especially with... I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but if Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. You mean to tell me you have enough energy to talk about Chloe's problems, but you don't have enough energy to tell her you're leaving? You suck, I Max. Bet there's some really cute photos in there. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. The, you know what? That's what you do in part one. 
Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. Wait, Chloe's allowance? Okay, so she got six bucks. She spent four. Oh, look at that. She's learning money management. I am so proud of her. So cute. Chloe and I have been friends for so long. Maybe I'm worrying too much about this move changing things. Halloween 2001. Halloween 2002. Oh, look at that. There were cookies one year and then a witch and a dog the next. And then there's Chloe and Max. I Max guess and I should Chloe. try talking to Chloe again about my news. I I can do that after I finish looking at everything. Why are you prolonging hey, it? Come on. What if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? What else is there? Wine stain? Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago. But I still feel bad about it. And y'all can't even clean it up properly? You, you suck. You sure were troublesome to find. Yeah, I bet. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. Sailing by the Wind. Stories about women changing careers in midlife. Edited by Claire Cassidy. <gasps> Get out! That's the same snow globe from part one! Oh, this brings me back to wicked nostalgia. I felt it. My controller shaked. There. Now you've got something pretty to look at. That's crazy. And I just realized something. Isn't this around the time where we get the call that Chloe's dad dies in a car accident? I really hope not, because that is so awkward. Chloe looks so content when she's drawing. Is that what I look like when I'm taking pictures? Focused, precise, all that stuff. This used to be the rainy day pirate ship. So sit. Come on. Talk to her. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. Okay, look at Chloe. I'm getting comfortable. There should be some music, but the thing is, I'm afraid that if I do turn on the music, I'll get copyrighted, and I'm not trying to deal with that with YouTube, so... Sorry about the awkward silence. I'm just protecting my channel, so... I mean, I could put on some really cool I music. this moment could last forever. Alright, here's my... Take on this moment. You ready? Do 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 Two best friends sitting on the couch. Do 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 Chloe, necesito hablar contigo. So, are you ready? <gasps> Wait, photo, yes. I can see what you're doing. Good job. Just don't move. Yes, I got a picture of Chloe. Oh my god, you're a We're dork. To work. Max is such a dork. Wait, this one too. I like that cap. Yes. Pose for a photo with that. I need memories, Chloe, especially since I'm leaving okay. you for like years Tip and years. Your head back and put your arms out and a really big smile. <laughs> like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving. Aw, how really cute! cute Aww. You're not so bad yourself. Aw, that's I'm so a awesome. Bit hungry. How about you? I'm okay. 
Um, we need to uh, talk, actually. Hey, uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. Ooh. This is so silly. Jeez, the, this jawbreaker is going to last forever. Aw, that's so awesome. <gasps> this jawbreaker is going to last forever? Just like our friendship. Mm. Chloe, mm. you were really drawing me that whole time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Machinist alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once our parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Tell her, Max! I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. Tell her! You're staying for dinner, right? Max, you tell her! You even want me to tell her? Yes, she do it! She not want to talk about anything serious upstairs. Max, tell her now. Come on, bro. Max? Give her that respect to tell her it's what's going just on. Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Tell her. Thank you. Come on. Tell her. You're her friend. You owe her Hi. that. Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um, my family's moving to Seattle really soon. There you go. There you go, hey. you see? In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. So she knew the whole time and you worried about nothing. You look so worried, Max. It's okay. Mm. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. Why did you pretend like you didn't know? I don't know. I, I guess... I guess I didn't want it to be true. She was in denial. Like, Aww. Why ruin the little time we have left? Aww. I was thinking that too. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together having fun. We'll keep in touch, okay? and visit and maybe we'll move back who knows Chill look out. at max being we hopeful can go to college together it's gonna be fine we're max and chloe remember we're always together even when we're not that's wow true. that's amazing that chloe oh. said that let's find something fun to do Oh, <gasps> no, no, this is the scene. No. Oh, Chloe, I'm so sorry. Joyce. Uh -huh. Oh, gosh, this sucks. I can't believe we're actually rel reliving this moment. But in like Chloe's perspective. Oh, gosh, this sucks. Chloe, I'm sorry. You know what's the worst part? Not only does she lose her dad, but her best friend's moving away. So now she has to grieve by herself. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. William! This is not how I wanted to end things.
Oh, Max. Now she feels extra guilty. Not only does she feel sorry for Chloe, but the fact that she is moving away on top of that... I bet Max blames herself because she thinks that she abandoned her friend, Chloe. And I know Chloe has mad resentment based off of the conversations they had in part one. If you guys remember how Chloe kind of like snapped at her for leaving her behind. Oh, wow. And wait, wasn't there a picture of this scene specifically? I remember in part one, there was a Pol Polaroid of this exact scene. Oh, gosh, this is insane. But, you know, remember in the first part, Max tried to change and she manages to save William. But in return, Chloe becomes severely handicapped up to the point where she wants to die. So I would rather pick this type of reality than the second option. And it sucks because it's basically the lesser of two evils. Wow, so they left right after the funeral. Yeah, it makes sense as to why Chloe had so much resent- Yo, they left right as soon as the funeral ended? No wonder Chloe was pissed at Max. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, I wouldn't even know what to do. So, is this the moment- where Chloe actually changes for the worse now because she lost her dad and now she lost her best friend, technically. So she becomes distant, angry, bitter, jaded, and makes so much sense. It really does. Oh, poor Joyce. Joyce doesn't even know what to do at the moment. And you know how this room is all... You can tell there's like a lot of life and funness to it. This whole room changes completely in part one as well. It's like at first when I played this game, I didn't even recognize... Oh, I'm sorry? Oh, Chloe. Are you going to listen to it or not? Nah? I mean, you might as well, right? Play it. Hey, Chloe, this is Max. I guess I just wanted to leave you one more message. Because I know this was the absolute worst time for me to go. I thought maybe if you heard my voice, it could be a little bit like I was there. I don't know. Maybe this was a dumb idea. I would give anything to be there with you now. Oh, Max. It's so hard trying to see what I'm thinking if I could just see you. Oh, this is so hard. But we'll get good at it. Great at it. We'll write and talk all the time. And then you'll come visit me, visit, and it'll be like I never left. I mean it. You don't have to worry about anything changing. You're dealing with so much other stuff. You don't deserve any of this. Chloe, listen. Even if I never... Even if we're moving for good. We're always together, okay? Even when we're apart, we're still Max and Chloe. Oh, gosh. I will always, always love you. Oh, no. Oh, this is so heartbreaking. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. But we know that. They don't know that, but we know that. Man, this is one hell of a prologue. I got to admit, this is the saddest prologue I've ever had to play through. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.